Welcome to Mike's Man Cave, or Mike's Backyard in this case. Uh, it's a beautiful day, the horse is there sunbaking, and um, the dogs are just lazing around. There's one, and the other one's here taking an interest in my barbecue. Now, what we'll be doing today is using the Weber charcoal um, kettle with the accessory um, rotisserie ring to um, prepare a uh, two and a half kilo pork leg. Let's take a look inside. Okay, I've already set it up. Um, there's the spit there um, that the meat will be going on. We'll use two charcoal baskets and a, um, a drip tray in the middle. The um, smoking wood doesn't stay in the drip tray. It goes onto the um, coals once they're going and um, just prior to placing the lid onto um, the kettle when we start grilling. Okay, so we'll be putting the meat on there and the charcoals will be going and um, then we'll place the smoking wood onto the coals, onto the lit coals and putting the lid on. Um, this is mainly because most of the smoking flavour gets imparted onto the meat in the early stages of the um, grilling process. Once the meat is sealed, it takes on very little extra flavour. So it's early, it's, it's very important to have maximum smoke early in the grilling process. Um, we'll get these going a bit later and we'll update. Okay, let's light this um, barbecue so we can get this um, pork leg in there. And there's a couple of fire starters in the bottom. We'll just light them up. Um, some people have a fascination with these chimney things. So I've never really found a need for them. Put that in there. Put your charcoal basket over the top. And walk away for 15 minutes and job done. While the coals are being lit and um, this will take about 15 minutes we'll go inside we'll put the um, pork leg on the spit and get it all prepped up to go onto the um, barbecue okay we're back our beautiful weather from earlier has turned to rain the horse is no longer sunbaking he's actually just um, got his rug on and he's waiting for his dinner now now what we've done, um, the leg of pork is now on the spit, the charcoal baskets are going and um, we'll turn on the spit, get it to turn, probably make a bit of an annoying sound on the video, there you go, okay, that's about the rate it turns at. Now we'll drop the smoking wood onto those coals and put the lid on and job done. By the way that meat has got some um, olive oil and um, it's got plenty of salt rubbed into the um, skin there to hopefully make it nice and crispy. Okay it's time to get some smoke happening. Let's put the lid on. Um, all vents are wide open and the temperature should start coming out in a second and hopefully we'll see some smoke coming out in a second now. Here we go. Already starting to smoke up beautifully. It's been about half an hour, 40 minutes, um, still smoking away, so those chunks of um, smoking wood I've put in there go a fair way. Um, the dome temperature, the lid temperature is just under 200, 
which I'm pretty happy with. Um, we're not doing the slow cook. All the vents are wide open and um, bottom vents are wide open. So we want this thing to be fairly hot so we get a bit of crackling on there and get it done for dinner. By the way, the rain's now stopped. The horse is happily eating dinner. The dogs um, are hanging around. And that annoying sound you can hear on the video, I just realised when I played it back, you can't actually hear that too much in real life, but the camera seems to be picking up the sound of the rotisserie um, and amplify it for some reason. So um, for those that are a bit concerned about the noise the rotisserie is making, it's not actually that bad in real life. Okay, it's um, now time to eat dinner. Okay, that's looking really, really good. What we'll have to do, we'll check the temperature, um, internal temperature. Uh, there's still a bit of coals left. Um, I'll turn the rotisserie off and I'll get the um, temperature measuring device and we'll check the internal temperature. Okay, we've got a reading there and it's ready to be served. 77 degrees internal temperature, which is um, well done for pork. This is looking really nice. Looking forward to dinner.